and uh, decision making but uh, i soon realized that uh, xlr being the college that i really want to get into or the college that i wanted to get into i could not leave anything to chance so i focused all the time after cat on quant and uh, that strategy is what got me through because the verbal and the quant uh, and the dm paper were quite tricky this year and surprisingly my quant score in the actual that paper was higher than all my mocks and my verbal and my dm uh, scores were significantly lower than all my mocks so i think uh, that uh, strategy that i took that risk that i took is what paid off uh, My name is Nadeem Ahmed. I am a doctor by profession. I graduated from a government medical college uh, here in Chennai, following which I worked as an emergency and primary care physician for a private hospital, leading the emergency response team. Um, upon gaining adequate uh, medical insight, I joined as a healthcare consultant uh, for an educational group, wherein I got the chance to mentor students and also the wonderful opportunity of working with the NSS in catering to the underprivileged. My last stint was on the front lines of COVID care. and i have been working on the front lines ever since my last uh, zat interview and uh, till the moment i joined xlr so zat is a very different exam compared to cat and uh, what fascinated me right from the first mock i took was the fact that it gives a lot of importance to decision making uh, apart from the obvious that there is a section for dm uh, it's a fact that Uh, the paper gives you the liberty and the f- and it encourages you to take wise decisions throughout the 3 hours simply because there are no one hour slots for each of the sessions like cat so my first strategy was to focus on my strengths which were verbal and uh, decision making but uh, i soon realized that uh, xlr being the college that i really want to get into or the college that i wanted to get into i could not leave anything to chance so i focused all the time after cat on quant and uh, that strategy is what got me through because the verbal and the con uh, and the dm paper were quite tricky this year and surprisingly my con score in the actual zat paper was higher than all my mocks and my verbal and my dm uh, scores were significantly lower than all my mocks so i think uh, that uh, strategy that i took that risk that i took is what paid off uh, so like i said like after cat is when like i had uh, taken off from work and i was like doing it full time uh, like i had taken like leave like, and uh i for one am a very visual learner so so quant like reading the solutions did not make sense to me from marks so i used to be searching in youtube everywhere and that's where i think i came across your video that's how i first came across it and even in the first videos i couldn't see a contact number then later on there was a video in your channel where there was a contact number and then i came to know that you had a excel score booster kai program that was on a different platform that platform like had uh, all the excel uh like different papers categorized into the, the, their topics so for a guy like me that made more sense because an engineer will still be able to go through them fast but i needed to see topic wise and i was very particular about excel and i knew only quant was going to be the uh, breaking deal for me so that's how i came so youtube and then to your platform and then i reached out to you and you were so kind enough to take that personal effort for me and what paid off uh, because as i was working during uh, that preparation the biggest challenge i faced was time management and very soon i realized that just managing time is not enough you need to kind of manage your focus as well so when i did my second revision for uh, that prep and i was done with all my mocks i primarily focused on all the questions that i did wrong and i did them over and over again not just for quant but even in decision making and the key to decision making was that you need to really uh, put yourself in their their shoes and put yourself in shoes of all stakeholders and then decide who is the most important stakeholder and kind of take it forward along those lines there's one thing i have noticed uh, in xlr is that uh, there's a lot of goodwill floating around not just within your section uh, within the batch uh, between dm and hr uh, between the two campuses between uh, juniors and seniors everyone genuinely wants the other person to do well although there is a lot of competition but it's a lot of healthy competition there's a lot of camaraderie and like the quote goes uh, the rising tide lifts all boats i think that's how people at excel uh, go about the daily activities and that's how i think uh